Hello and welcome everyone to uh, KF Vietnamese. Before we begin, I'd like to share my disclaimer. I am not a doctor. I'm not a spiritual master. I'm not an expert of any kind. I'm a country pumpkin sharing his theoretical perspective for entertainment purpose only. I see we have a few people here. Welcome. I don't know if you can hear the thunder in the background. We might get some rain to wash things up and clean things up on this planet. And I hope, I think the Vietnamese community here to support me just because they like extra energy, not because they can't understand my Vietnamese. Like usual, before we, before we begin, I like to ask my team, if I have any, my higher self, higher self of everyone here and their, their team, if they would like, they can step into our space to hold a space so that we can share this session in peace and help everyone to digest and to process whatever, whatever need to be processed. And I thank them ahead just in case I forget to thank them at the end like I normally do. Uh, they can help us to stay in our lone harmonic, meaning our energy won't affect one another. I think we have enough crap to deal with every day. So welcome, we have here Long, Kim, uh, Yung, this is Neo Geo. And this is for those that have not attended this session before, the purpose of this meditation or guided meditation and energy transmission is to share with people how uh, the soul works, how collective consciousness and intention and manifestation works when we use our intention and our imagination. At the same time, you'll get a chance to experience energy and what it can do to help to bring us into back to balance and how we can direct energy to help the planet, the collective consciousness, just to clear some things off because we don't have to clear everything. A little bit clearing is good. Uh, ne negative energy is good in some way to provoke people, to push people to the limit, uh, to, the, to the thresh point where they have to decide what they will do next. I see Ms. Ms. Kamau is here. Okay, as we have our opening, and those that are familiar with the process, you can, can, you can do what you need to do with, within your meditation process. You can focus with my voice in the background. For those that have never done, been through this process, you can just close your eyes, relax, go into a quiet environment, and just breathe in slowly, deeply, and just listen to my voice. If you have thoughts that come up and things that come up and say hello to it and just wave goodbye and just focus back into my voice as I guide people, explain people through the process of what we are doing. Because I'm not just, it's not a normal energy transmission or um, guided meditation. In the process of transmission or tra transmitting energy and guiding people through the process. I also explain what I do so people understand the process behind it. It's not something that's mysterious. It's something that everyone can do. Uh, so let's begin. So just take a deep breath. So I ask, well, before you begin, you can grant permission to your team to hire yourself to do what is needed during this process to help you get back to balance, to help you prepare for the next step that you need to do or whatever you would like to require. You can ask them now and give permission to them now or just, just say hello to them and, or just ignore them, whatever your preference. For me, I would like to be in the healing capsule. I could use some TLC right now. I don't know about everyone, but I'm exhausted today, mentally exhausted. So I would like to be encapsulated in a healing capsule to help me, bring me back to balance, help me relax more if possible. And so you can request, during this process, you can request with me, add what you like 
this is this is not this is not a dinner table where someone pre-orders stuff for you. This is a buffet. Take what you want, leave what you don't want, request what you like some more. Um, whatever you need to be processed, where you need help with, ask ask your your guide, your team. Basically, I think people, I don't think most people are not aware. Your guide is you and your higher self. I think like probably 90, 90 something percent of the time, your quote quote unquote guide is yourself. Your future self is guiding you. So it's not some guy when it's some some different dude somewhere else. Usually your guide is you yourself in the future. Okay, welcome new people. So during the process, feel free to improvise and do what needed. In the meantime, I would like to require request the energy of. We're gonna do some energy clearing. The energy of violet flame, Mahara current, golden silver one, rainbow plasm, sent to everyone. The flame can be burned intensely, brightly, burn every cell, every atom, every space within their body, within the aura, within the whole room to clear all negative energy. And just for those that have never been here, Energy has no time, space, and location. So it doesn't matter if you watch this video a thousand years later or now, you still receive the energy. It doesn't matter where you are. You could be on planet use. You could be on Andromeda. So welcome. And just feel the energy. If you don't feel anything, that's fine. Uh, not everybody can feel energy. Just do what you need to do during your meditation process. And if you feel something extra good, if you don't, that's fine. Just think of this as a acquired time. And what's more important is how does this energy affect me after this process, like during the week? How do I feel compared to before? So just feel the energy running to you. going to burn every atom, every cell to help clear all that negativity. Because we pick up neg neg negative energy every day from the environment, from the people in the market, the store, on the street, people like me. When I'm next to negative people, I got a rash, I got a headache, I got everything you can think of, you know. And it's good to do some cleaning on a daily basis or sometimes several times a day because of how much engagement we work in with crowded area with people. And we need to do some cleaning. Just like we take shower every day, we need to clean our energy field every day or several times a day if we are in a very yucky place. To help us bring us to balance easier. We don't have energy attachment. I'm manipulating our thoughts, our emotions. So when we burn all this negative energy, when you when you receive this energy of divided flame, which is 7D energy, uh, Mahari current, 12D energy, all these energies are in the original form that has not been reversed. There are reverse energy of Mahari current, uh, of fire flame, uh, change of main, violet flame is reverse violet flame, it's not the original violet flame. So you, you, everyone here will be receiving the energy they need. Just for your extra protection, you can say to yourself, to your team, or to, to yourself, I will only receive the energy that is most beneficial to me. I will not receive energy, any energy that is reverse or harmful to me. So before you engage with any practice, you can set a, the intention within your mind, say, I will not accept any negative energy that will impact me badly or in a negative way. I will only accept energy that is good for my well-being, for my optimum health, optimum mind, optimum energy. And that when you set that intention, you put the feel around you so that you will not get anything that you don't understand, you don't know, that could do negative impact on you. Even though this guy in the front right here on the screen can say all these nice things and what all these awesome things that it can do for you, but you never know. That's so that one thing you can always set up for yourself, it doesn't matter where you are, who you're with, an energy field to protect yourself that you are only consciously receiving energy that is beneficial to your well-being. That is a, a good practice when we are in this chaotic environment where you don't know where all the sources of the energy or the teachings coming from, what method they are. There is lack of transparency and, and source. So it's always good to be careful. And as we continue, I will continue to request the energy of violet flame, my heart current, golden silver one, rainbow plasm to be sent to everyone to burn their 
whole entire body, every atoms, every cells, every part in the body, so that they'll be cleansed of negative energy, so they'll be more uplifting, burn the whole entire aura, the body, burn any energy attachment, any negative entities, smack those negative energy back into the fourth dimension, wherever they came from. So with the help of our higher self, you can backslap all those negative entities that has been leeching on our field of energy, we kick them, we leg them, whatever you want to do with them, kick their ass back to where they came from, or send them back to source for a quick, uh, quick VIP pass to reincarnation. So you can be as merciful as send them back to where they are, or send them back to source and start start the game over again. So we are keep receiving those energy because a lot of times when we are attending groups and session, we are getting entities attached to us that are going to manipulate our energy field, planting thoughts into our mind, putting emotion into our emotional body, we feeling things that is not originally from ourselves, and we're not able to distinguish what is our thoughts, our emotion with those all around. It's hard for people on a normal day just to even distinguish a lot of things. So what we're gonna do is with this energy field, we're gonna clear all those negative energy, clear of all this energy attaching us, leeching on us, manipulating our field, and just big slap them back to where they came from. Oh, excuse my French. So you would continue to receive this energy until you no longer need them, until your energy field and we cell where atom is nice and clear of all those negative energy. So you can be nice and refreshed. Once you receive enough of this energy, then I will request the energy of love, peace, balance, joy, be sent to everyone here, regardless of time, space, location, so they can receive this energy to help to bring them back to balance. They can receive the energy of one cup, one life, specially designed for them. That in the right amount of right amount of CO two, right amount of zinc, right amount of copper, right amount of magnesium, calcium, potassium, and whatever the other gains they need to help them bring back the optimum balance at this moment in time and place. The old we see they all they can also receive the energy of the Wi-Fi McGrath of love I have here to help bring them back to balance. Let those energy flow to them and go wherever it is needed to bring a whole entire body, mind, and spirit complex right into, back into balance. And then everyone here will keep, keep, keep continue receiving the energy until it's, it is no longer needed. At the right strength, the right amount of the right amount, right quantity, which is the right amount, right, the right amount. The energy is flowing and flowing and flowing until you are no longer needed. It will flow wherever it is needed. Energy is smart. It's conscious. And you will continue receiving this energy. Just, just relax. Feel it flowing through you. Feel whatever coming up. Once you have received all this energy that you need, I would like, I set the intention to calibrate, meaning optimize the energy flow within your body, within my body, for optimum efficiency, for optimum health, well being balance all those energy that we see. Once we clear up all those negative energy, once we receive all those energy of love, peace, balance, and joy, the energy of golden silver one, rainbow plasm, the energy of one cup, one life, the energy of the Wi-Fi McGrath of love, so that we can all balance all this energy out so that it nice flow nicely within our body in harmony. And I ask my higher self, my team, your team, your higher self, do what, do what you need to do to help each one of us here that you determine what is best for us at this point in time and place. I give permission for my team, for my higher self to do what is needed to upgrade, repair me. 
I would like to hit three in healing stasis after, after we're done tonight. After we're done tonight, when I'm asleep, put me in the healing stasis and do all the TOC, all the upgrade, the, the tune-up that you need to do. I could use a lot of tune-up right now. So tonight, when I go to sleep, please do some tune-up on me and just repair my field, my energy, my R, do whatever you need to repair, upgrade some stuff when you need to upgrade. And everyone you can request after you're done tonight, you can request your higher self, your team to do what they need to do, extra stuff while you while you're asleep to help you to with your mission, with your life right now, or what prepare you for the next stage or whatever coming. They have the permission to do what's needed. I'm just here to create the connection, hold a space so that we can process. The energy is just short and simple. So when you're done receiving the energy, you feel conscious and are still awake, then you can wake up and participate with us because we're gonna go send energy uh, around, especially in Ho Chi Minh City, which is Saigon. Saigon right now is in chaos, but a chaos in the planet is good. We need a good amount of chaos to wake people up, to put them under pressure so that they can get to that turning point where they have to decide the bottom line. So we are gonna clear just enough energy for those that want it to receive those energy and for those that need to be clear. For those that don't want to receive any energy, they want to stay in the game of separation, the fear and anxiety, by all means, they can have all that energy and some of mine if they want to. So they can have all this gooey energy around me if they like to have some extra stuff, extra fear. Now we have plenty of fear to go around. They can have all my share of it. So when we set our mind, our focus, we as a collective consciousness can when we focus on something, we can manifest it on an energetic level. We're creating a blueprint before it's manifest into physical reality. So when we have enough juice, enough people in the flow, the movement, we can manifest things faster into our physical reality. This is how collective consciousness works. We, we manifest as a whole into what we want to experience into this physical reality. So right now we can set the intention. You can imagine, you can set the intention, whatever you like, because visualization is not necessary. Some of us don't, cannot visualize very well, like me. I cannot, I cannot visualize very well. I can, just, I can see vaguely, but what I can do is set my mind, my intent, and that's done. I like to set it and forget it. I like to set the intention that I would like, I would like to send energy of love. And before we do that, the energy of right of flame, my heart current, golden silver one, rainbow plasm. Send that energy, that ball of energy, mass ball, massive ball of energy into Saigon. Spinning that ball, spinning the thing, flame, radiating that energy throughout the whole city, cleaning the energy where it needs to be cleaned at the most, as determined by the collective soul of everyone there and our high self here. Clear, they can decide what area needs to be cleared, what area needs to be reduced, what area do need to be alone, and who needs to be clear and what because I don't know what to be clear. I don't want to clear people out of their negative energy when they, they need that environment to help them push to the next level. So we only clear whatever that we are allowed to clear. That doesn't affect the learning game of everyone else who are still in that environment. So we're just gonna reduce whatever area we can that will be permitted to clear. And that is determined by our higher self, our soul, our team, so that we as a participant in this physical reality, we need some breathing space as well. So sometimes we can need a little cleanup, a little boost to clean up so we can feel a little bit better when we step out into an environment. And when we do that, we can send energy to support all of those that in, in this globe who need the extra boost to, to maintain uh, the morale, to, go, to can you continue on with this game of separation here. So we would send all those energy into Saigon and that energy spread out into the city, the surrounding area, then surrounding Southeast Asia, then the whole planet. And it's go where it needs to go and clear whatever needs to be cleared as determined by Father Earth and go our highest self. And they just, they figure it out. But the thing about energy is we don't have to know exactly what needs to be done. 
along with set the intention and our higher self, our soul, our team, they know what to do with it. We don't have to, on a logical mind here in this physical reality, okay, how do I consciously direct that energy and what, what spot I need to go? How, do, how is it going to clean all the things? Just set the intention and all the, all the other work be done by our soul, our team, and they know what to do. We don't have to constantly on this physical 3D level to understand the technical details of everything. Just have in mind that I just want to send this energy and where it need to go, what need to be done, be done. That's it. It's that simple. We don't have to make things more complicated. We don't need to understand everything. Just like when we drive a car, we don't need to understand how the car works to be able to drive from A to B. And directing energy, work with energy is the same thing. We don't have to understand the full mechanics behind it. Just we know that we set the intention and what we want and it will manifest. And just we continue to send this energy into Ho Chi Minh to where we need to be and spread it throughout the whole planet and to everything needed to be clear. Whatever beings, planets, uh, plants, animals, insects, whatever they want, whatever they want to receive this energy, they can receive this energy to help them do some clearing, temporary clearing. After they, they're done with those energy, we set the intention to send out the energy of love, peace, balance, joy, uh, violet flame. Well, when we know violet flame, we have, we have enough of that already. Uh, golden silver one and rainbow plasm in my heart current through all those, all those things, all the, the minerals, the, uh, the insects, the microbes, plants, animals, dogs, everybody, every living thing. in this planet, on this planet. If that is the desire to receive this energy, they will receive it. If it's not in the best interest to receive this energy, then they will get zero. It's that simple. So we set the intention, the intention to send all those energy to all living things or everything, solid, conscious things like rocks. They are still conscious beings to receive it. If, they, if that is their wish, they will receive it. If not, they will receive zero. So we're doing a free will choice here. It's not where we, we, we pressure on our energy on them. They have the choice. If they like to receive, they receive. If they don't, they don't. Because a lot of people right now, they're in this game of separation and they need that fear, anxiety, and that stress to push them to that turning point to make a change in their life. We don't want to clear all that stress or the anxiety out of them. And they're, they're in a balance, but they're in, a, in a, what they call the, 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 the uh, no man zone, in a quicksand. They, they're not able to move to the next level. They can't move back, can't move forward. So we need sometimes a lot of the stress or those, those stimulants to push them forward. It's a catalyst. Fear is not a bad thing. A good amount of fear is a good thing. Anxiety is a good thing. When it push people for change because you cannot... Complacency is a, is, can be called stagnation. To, to prevent stagnation, people standing in one spot, like the Vietnamese people are doing, being inactive, being complacent. We need some certain uh, stimulant, a physical kick in the, in the ass to push people forward. And fear is a good uh, proverbial kick in the ass to, to push people forward. So fear is a good thing. Stress is a good thing. Anxiety is a good thing when it propels people to change and to step out of that comfort zone and to do what they want. Step to push them on the test limit for what they need to do next. So we're not gonna mess with that scenario and just let people receive the energy they want when the soul decide, the higher self decide if that is what they need at this moment or not. If not, then continue with the game. For those that are here that would like to receive it, we will receive it. It's that simple. And that is it for tonight. It is that simple. So if anybody would like to share their experience, uh, they feel free here to share so other people can, can compare and understand and know because that's what basically sharing all about. Learning is about sharing so that we understand about other people. When we understand about other people, we understand about ourselves. That's how we learn. And I thank everyone for attending, for coming here. And if you are still within your meditate state, a meditative state, state, feel free to continue on and don't mind me. If you have fallen asleep already, that's fine. You still receive the energy and you still realize that when you come back up, whether you're conscious or unconscious, you still receive the energy. That's the amazing thing about energy. You don't have to be there. 
but in life you have to be there. But energy, receiving energy, you don't have to be there. In life you have to be there. Or else you're gonna pass, life gonna pass you right by when you're not partic participating consciously. And again, I like to thank the my higher self, my team if I have any, and all the higher self and everybody here to help us hold the space, uh, to help us at this stage or point in our development and helping all the to deal with all the crap that we have to, to deal with and to help us guide us and give us some nudges and some kicking the ass sometimes in the right direction. Let's see what we have here, people. We have what if, what I think Jung or Jung or Jung. What if I want to be more intelligent and have my memory strengthened so that I can learn everything faster? Are these kinds of energy help? Not really. But are you here trying to prove that trying to prove that you're smarter than anyone, better than anyone? Are you here to do something that's more meaningful in your life? If that if that should help with your soul purpose, then probably. If not. And it doesn't serve any purpose to prove that I have all the spiritual, all the spiritual abilities. I'm Superman. I pull up things with super S on my chest, or I can shoot laser out my eyes. That has no meaning in, in, in this 3D physical reality. I mean, it, it does. It does mean something to, for for people ego mind to say, I feel better than everyone. I'm different than everyone. I'm more special than everyone. Everyone is unique and special. What we have, what we need to focus on is how do I make my life more meaningful. I don't need to have superpower to be smart, to be special. I can be powerful by conquering my fear. I'm powerful by overcoming myself and to do what I need to do. Power comes from conquering yourself. Other superficial things is just to satisfy the ego. So what more important thing than have to focus on is why am I here? What, how can I live my life so that I can be satisfied on a soul level? Not to satisfy that I don't have to worry about food every day or somebody say, oh, good job. Oh, you're so great. Oh, you're so powerful. You're so special. I wish I can be like you. It's a nice um, stroke on your ego, but it doesn't serve any main purpose of your soul or why you want to be here. So focus. The doesn't matter who you are. The simple things in life is use your heart right here. Do what you you use this heart as a GPS. Use your heart to sense what need to be done, what you want to do. Follow your heart, your passion. Everything will come naturally. Don't let this don't let this guy here decide what to do. Let your heart, your intuition decide how you interact with the world every day. Decide what you need to be doing. Then once you decide what needs to be done, what you want to do, then this guy right here is his specialty. He will calculate the best path, the best possible way in this 3D physical reality for you to go do it. He is the executioner, not the decider. The decider is your heart. Follow your heart, your passion, what makes you more life more fulfilling for you on a soul level, not on the physical level. And use this guy, maximize his value to execute the thing most efficiently. That is his function, is to execute, to calculate, to plan, not to decide. If you use this guy to decide how you live your life, then you, yes, you may live a life nice and luxury and all the, 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 the material wealth you can have, but on a soul level, when you get out of here, you get zero, well, not zero, but you get a very low point in satisfying, in, in, in accumulating enough energy to elevate you to the next level. If you want to play this 3D reality game, Continue on to play that game, but if you want to evolve, move on to the next level, and you accumulate, accumulate accumulate enough energy, then you have to satisfy your soul level. Those are the energy of the soul. Energy of the soul do something that you feel good about, and the heart here feel good here, not feel good here. Feel good here, you play this game again. Feel good here, you go to the next level, and choose your game. Choose your game field. How do you like to play it? You want to play this game another thousand years? Feel free by all all means. Don't let me stop you. But if you want to go to the next level, decide from here and live by here. And it's that simple. Okay, thank you, everyone. And see you again next time. Bye-bye.